and on Facebook. Hi everybody and welcome back uh, another week later. I'm amazed these weeks are just flying by right now for me. So um, I don't know if that's the same for you, but I'm amazed that we're uh, another week. Okay, week 19, um, Kentucky, and we are making the uh, Kentucky Derby, Derby as the Americans say, um, chocolate pie. Derby is in what? Um, what are we saying? British Derby. Oh, well, <laughs> I don't even know my own language. Okay, so that's what we're doing today. We're doing week 19, and um, it is Kentucky. Um, I'm just trying to think through what I'm what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm making the pie, um, and uh, I've got all my ingredients set up here. This is a very simple pie to make. What you want to do is preheat your oven to 350, which is about 175 degrees Celsius, and um, I also made this uh, uh, pie crust a little bit earlier today, and um, it is a uh, cookie crumb, you know, graham cracker type of digestive biscuits actually, uh, um, that I made earlier that I can, um, you can bake if it's supposed to be a, a baked, if it's not a baked um, recipe, then you don't need to bake it at all. If it is a baked recipe, you can bake it. So this works for even one. Okay, so we're going to start today with um, making the pie. We're going to put in the flour, so just a little bit of flour there, followed by the sugar, which is a little bit more of the sugar. And then I'm going to give that a little bit of a mix and a whisk. And it's been a while since we've made a dessert. I don't know if we... Yeah, we have made a dessert. Yeah, we made key lamb pie. Yeah, we did. And we made um, cookies and stuff like that. It's just usually when there's a fried option on our boating, we get the fried thing. So... <laughs> um, what was the other option? I can't remember now. A uh, hot brown sandwich. Hot brown which sandwich. I think was made famous in like a hotel in Kentucky. A hotel called Brown or Brown. Yeah, or something like that. Yeah, because it doesn't sound very appetizing. Why is this one hot famous? Brown sandwich. No, it doesn't sound very appetizing. Uh, why is this one famous? Because it's delicious. Oh, well, that's simple. And it's from Derby. 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 <laughs> okay, so I'm putting in the eggs. That is followed by the uh, butter. I have some melted butter here. About half a cup. So for people just joining, what are we making? We are making the Kentucky Derby chocolate pie. Mmm, I can smell yeah, it. Just, I'm hovering over the chocolate Walnut chips pie. and they smell really good. <laughs> and I'm going to stir that in. So uh, this is our week 19 doing Kentucky. And I'm just stirring in. I have flour, sugar, eggs, and butter in here. Good All good of things. A pie. Mm. All good things that make pies tasty. Okay. Well, pies is a big thing in American culture, isn't it? So pies it's no surprise that this thing. is yes. this is one of a popular dish in Kentucky. Yes, and it's very delicious. Okay, so for our first substitution, I think it's our first and only substitution today, <laughs> is this. So normally this has Kentucky bourbon. However, we don't have it. Uh, you have to excuse us because it's been Ramadan and you can't buy alcohol here during Ramadan. So um, not that we're drinking everything inside, but this is... Um, what this is, is, um, Bailey's, um, <laughs> Bailey's, uh, Bristol cream. Bailey's Bristol cream. Oh, okay. I'm putting that in because that has a nice flavor to it. I didn't really have anything else that had flavor to it. So that's the one that is going to work today. Um, I'm going to add the walnuts. So I've got a, uh. Some chopped up walnuts there, a cup of it. Chopped up walnuts. And I'm gonna give that a mix. It's smelling really, really good. Yeah, I know, it's smelling really good. And it feels really good. You know, you make those recipes and they just feel right. Okay, so now I'm gonna put in the chocolate chips. As you can see, the chocolate chips, there's their chocolate chip scissors. Uh, we brought these back with us from the States because chocolate chips here are not that easy to find and when you do they're astronomically priced so we brought these with us and um, that's all that is it's just uh, bloom which is no problem at all and doesn't do anything to the flavor so 
There's a cup and a quarter of that going in. And I'm afraid this is going to have to be one of those recipes where we are going to have to pop it in the oven and come back. Uh, maybe in the future we can start, you know, doing like TV shows. <laughs> I made this earlier and here it is. Yeah, but, but then we'd now, have two pies. Uh, then we'd have two pies, yes. And then we'd, have, we'd grow incredibly fat. Speaking of fat, I have to admit that last week I saw myself and I felt like, you know what, this quarantine thing has made me gain some weight. So I'm trying to be careful not to eat too many pies. That is a sprinkle of salt. And finally, a teaspoon of uh, vanilla going in right now. And I'm going to switch to my spatula here and give it a, a good stir. Mmm, this is going to be really <laughs> Yeah, nice. we're both trying to lose weight. And okay. Everybody chooses Kentucky Derby pie. <laughs> <laughs> well, the fried things aren't much better. <laughs> no. But this looks quite delightful. Mmm. Those look pretty darn good. Okay. So, like I said, we're going to pop this in the oven, and it's going to be about 45 minutes, something mm. thereabouts. And we'll come back on real quick to have a have a taste. Of course, um, I have to taste it. And just um, going ahead for week 20, which is next week. 20 already? Uh, we are My doing uh, Utah. No. Wyoming. Oh, Wyoming, sorry. <laughs> One of those western states. <laughs> you literally asked me before we came on as well. <laughs> yeah. I was testing to see if you were Ah, if I knew. Yes. Ah. Well done. And you remembered. Well done. <laughs> um, okay, so now I'm gonna pop this on a tray. It's always good to cook a pie on a tray, regardless of how high or whether it's good, because you never know. Sometimes they puff and go over. Um, the hope is that it will puff up, but obviously not, not go over. Okay, so I'm gonna pop that in the oven here. And I'll set a timer for about 40, 45 minutes. And then we'll come back. So thanks again for being here today. Um, we are on week 19 and we just made a Kentucky uh, Derby chocolate pie. And we're looking forward to tasting it a little later on. If you can hear any noise, that's our dogs who are being corralled over there for some reason <laughs> today. They They're always like it. They want to make lots of noise. But we keep them on the other side of the kitchen there and they get very interested in all the goings on. So that's... that's no, after dinner, they always get riled up and play. Exactly. So uh, thanks again for joining us uh, for week 19. And like I said, we'll be back in about an hour or so um, with hopefully the done pie. Thanks. Oh.